Meantime, it is not a bird, it is not a plane, and it's also not a blimp, even though from those pictures, it certainly looks like one. This first of its kind aircraft that you just saw does not carry any passengers, and it's also not designed to travel from one destination to another. Yeah, so it's essentially a cross between a drone and a satellite, and the company behind this technology built and tested it right here in New Mexico. Griffin Rushton sat down with the CEO as the company prepares to take off. I absolutely feel that we are part of history here. Moriarty-based Sky was not born in New Mexico, but it sure is taking off over the land of enchantment. The first non-terrestrial layer that was started in 1903 in Kitty Hawk, the second non-terrestrial infrastructure layer that was started in 1957 with Sputnik, Sky in 2024 here in New Mexico is building the third. CEO and founder Mikkel Franzen relocated Sky to New Mexico in 2021 to get easier access to open skies so crews could test this 214 foot metallic aircraft, officially known as a high altitude platform system. It's an aircraft that is filled with helium for buoyancy. We have solar power on board for daytime, battery for nighttime, and we use that power uh, combined with uh, an aerodynamic shape to point into the wind and stay over an area of operation. That essentially means it can hover in the same exact spot in the sky for at least 24 hours. We don't really know the duration. That's what next year's program is about. It's a stationary eye in the sky, and Franzen says the sky's the limit on how to use it. And we use that for methane leaks monitoring from the stratosphere. We can connect with broadband uh, in, in rural areas directly to device. We can take search out of search and rescue for maritime services. We have tested hyperspectral for early warning of fire. Did you catch that last one? Franzen says the aircraft can be equipped to track where wildfires might start, alert authorities once a wildfire does start, provide aerial data to better coordinate resources on the ground, and act as a mobile cell tower when service is knocked out. Because we can lift and power so much, we can do all these things at the same time. Right? And that is what is so unique. After a successful test flight out of Roswell earlier this year, Franzen says the company is ready to begin commercial operations in 2025. And with a $10 million investment from the state's Economic Development Department, it seems Sky is happy to call New Mexico home. That we're, we're actually expanding this current facility in addition to expanding elsewhere. I expect this to be as common as seeing uh, ships in the port or, or trains on the tracks or, or cars in the street. Uh, this is a matter of time before it's going mainstream. In Moriarty, Griffin Rushton, KOB4.